Okay, um, what uh, we've got here is um, a demonstration of a, or a re-demonstration of a, a web, uh, sorry, YouTube video that uh, appeared on um, a couple of years ago um, about a strange Russian transformer. Um, a lot of people said this uh, transformer was a fake. Well, I can now demonstrate, uh, without black boxes, uh, the working of this very unusual idea. Anyway, it starts off with some ferrite uh, cores. We have uh, some small ones with a hole in the middle, and we have some larger ones that we've taped together um, for this demonstration. Uh, our, I suppose you'd call it a primary winding, is a copper tape that has been wound around a former uh, to create a spiral um, with a narrow gaps between. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is, first of all, insert the smaller ferrites, which is a little bit tricky, into our copper primary winding. Right, there we are. Um, and we now have our secondary core which we place over our primary. Right, without the aid of black boxes apart from this little black box and all this little black box is is a simple small power amplifier module, it's rated at 18 watts uh, and this will actually just boost the signal from our uh, frequency generator. Uh, first of all we'll uh, attach our uh, DC connections from our power supply Then uh, we'll connect our signal generator input our output is via the negative. I'm now going to bring the scope probe in and one of the leads from our primary to the negative connection. I'll endeavour to do so. And that's the negative, and we need our ground connection for our oscilloscope also. Right, our positive output on the other wire connect our scope probe to that right now if we've done everything correctly I'm going to switch the power supply on which is the 18 volt input to the amplifier something is not right oh. <laughs> Oh, of course. That's more like it. <laughs> Bit like Blue Peter, this is. Here's one we prepared early. Right. Fingers crossed, got a nice sine wave. Right, here's the magic. One four inch wire nail. Through the hollow core of our set transformer. We have a 4.7 volt uh, bulb 
0.75 of an amp um, and this should light straight off the ends of the as you can see um, quite bright uh, point pulling about point point six nine of an amp there so it's nearly up to its full rating right here's the weird thing my assistant here is trying to create a, a better view for you all um, right watch this pulling slightly more current than but this is off the ends of the wire now right okay well that's out of the way what you can do is basically remove the wire nail and insert the one wire of the light bulb and then twist the ends together and presto there we have a light slightly about point two of an amp oh, more than before right this is weird on all if we now pull the in, inner core from the outer as you can see so long as the wire is actually traveling through the ferrite core the outer core it remains lit and all we've got, as you can see, is just a litter, a loop of wire with a light bulb breaking, creating the... Uh, it doesn't make a jot of difference whether you poke it back in. Oh, just become disconnected again. Right, so... We've discovered that the uh, phenomena non rather is frequency so as we increase the input frequency you can see the light is dimming when we reach 30 kilohertz 50, 60, 70, 80. As you can see, the, the light's gone out now at 100 kilohertz. Bring the frequency back. Either way, this is a sinusoidal input. I did notice on the trace, or what appeared to be the trace of the rushing video, it was a square wave, but uh, we seem to have, we have found that in point of fact I can switch function and a square wave for us doesn't really cut it, although if I increase the gain slightly into the amplifier, you can see that in fact we can almost overdrive the thing. For us, a sine wave seems to be, if you notice, and now look, look, look at the oscilloscope screen, we are actually overdriving the amplifier now, and we're not producing a, a nice sine wave. I'll just flatten that back till we get, there we are, that's about the optimum. And the ammeter is saying 0.75 of an amp, which is the rated current of the bulb itself. Um, what more can I say? Uh, really odd uh, setup. No black boxes, no foolery. This is a solid granite uh, tabletop we're working with. Um, any, uh, we've not got Tesla coils or out like that going. Um, really odd phenomena.
So just literally I can draw this through and so long as that one wire remains, as long as this, this core is around one wire, the bulb remains lit. I think that just about does it really. Um, let's see what you guys can do. It's uh, quite an amazing, I just can't believe it. Anyway, food for thought, food for thought, who knows. Thanks. <laughs>